Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to year three of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher, and write us a review. Today's selection is from Surah 24, on nur or the light, verses 41 through 57. These verses declare that everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies and praises Allah. Those who claim to be true believers must demonstrate it through their actions as well. True believers respond to their Lord and His Messenger by saying, We hear and we obey. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Do you not see that Allah is the one who is praised by all those who are in the heavens and in the earth? The very birds praise Him as they wing their flight. Each one knows its prayers and how to praise Him, and Allah has full knowledge of all their actions. To Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and towards Allah lies the final goal. Do you not see that Allah makes the clouds move gently, then joins them together, then piles them up in masses, then you see the rain coming from inside them. He also sends down hail from the clouds that look like mountains in the sky, afflicting therewith whom he wills, and turning it away from whom he pleases. The flash of his lightning almost takes away sight. Allah alternates the night and the day. There is indeed a lesson in it for those who possess insight. Allah has created from water every living thing. Of them there are some that creep upon their bellies some that walk on two legs, and yet some that walk on four. Allah creates what He pleases, for surely Allah has power over everything. We have indeed sent down very clear revelations, and Allah guides to the right way whom He pleases. They say, we believe in Allah and the Messenger, and we obey. But no sooner do they utter these words than some of them turn their backs. These are no believers. When such people are called to Allah, and his messenger, that he may judge between them, behold, a party of them declines to come. However, if they have the truth on their side, they come to him voluntarily. Is there a disease in their hearts? Either they are skeptical, or else they fear that Allah and his messenger will deny them justice. Nay, in fact they are the ones who are the wrongdoers. The response of the true believers when they are called to Allah and His Messenger to judge between them is only to say, We hear and we obey. Such are the ones who attain felicity. Only those who obey Allah and His Messenger have fear of Allah and be careful not to incur His displeasure are the ones who will be the successful. They solemnly swear by Allah that if you command them, they will go forth leaving their homes. O Muhammad! peace be upon him, tell them, do not swear, your obedience, not your oaths, will count, surely Allah is fully aware of what you do, say, obey Allah, and obey the messenger, if you do not, he, the messenger, is only responsible to fulfill his duty, as you are responsible to fulfill yours, and if you obey him, you shall be rightly guided." Note it well that the responsibility of the messenger is only to deliver Allah's message clearly. Allah has promised those of you who believe and do good deeds that He will most surely make them the successors of the present rulers in the earth, as He made their ancestors before them, and that He will establish for them their religion, the one which He has chosen for them, and that He will change their present state of fear into peace and security. Let them worship Me alone and not commit shirk with me, or to associate others with God. And if anyone rejects faith after this, it is they who are the transgressors. Therefore, establish prayers, pay charity, and obey the messenger, so that you may be shown mercy. Never think that the unbelievers can escape in the land. As for them, the fire shall be their home, and that is an evil abode. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. 
If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.